day and welcome back to my channel so I've just got back from the mountains I was in Chickmagalo and I'm now back in my home here on Gokana Beach so the plan today is to go to yet another secret place those that follow me know that I love my secret places far from the maddening crowds of Cuddly Beach can be argued that I'm also part of those maddening crowds, as I've said on numerous previous vlogs, which is fun for a bit, but it's always good to get off the beaten path as well. So I need to go to Gokana Town and I need to get a bus to a place called Ganga Vili, which is a river. And then from that river, I need to somehow cross that river and from that river I need to get to the secret place and the name of the secret place is Honey Beach so I will tell you why it's called Honey Beach later in the vlog so stay tuned to find out that one so I'm going to make my way now to the a bus stop and whilst I'm doing that I will show you exactly what I mean about the maddening crowds here on Cuddly Beach and how I want to get to a quieter secret beach and why I want to get to a quiet search secret beach. I'll just have a cup of tea, but I can't quite drink it yet. It's just uh, too hot, especially in that metal container. <laughs> so, um, the reason I want to get off the beaten path is because Cuddly Beach is really like too much for me at times when there's a lot of trance music and it just gets really loud. I just want to find some peace and quiet and just get some really authentic, unspoiled places, hence Honey Beach. So, rumour has it that to get to Cuddly Beach, sorry, Honey Beach, <laughs> to get to Honey Beach, I will need to get the 10.30 bus from Gokana bus stand. Um, and then from Gangavilli, um, I need to get a boat. And then I need to get an auto. Um, and then I'll get to the beach. Yeah, rumour has it, things change by the second here in India. Those that follow me know that very well. So stay tuned to see exactly what happens. So this tea shop that I'm in, I just wanted to show you that we've got the cow just standing there. He's coming in. He's in the tea shop. Here he is. He might come and sit on my table and share my chai with me. Right, cow? You want to come and share my chai? Mm? Oh. Ah, so I'm on the bus and great bus ride. So they say this place is six kilometres away from Gokana bus stand. I do believe them, simply because the fur is only 10 rupees. So for a fur of 10 rupees, you can't really be going very far. So yeah, that's um, handy to know. And great bus ride, by the way. <laughs> a very bumpy.
that bus ride again. It was about 10 minutes. So the boat was actually waiting as you saw and this guy wants to come in and say hi on my vlog. <laughs> so yeah, I will let you know how long this boat ride is and how much it costs. We're just getting more people on at the moment, so yeah, it will go soon. secret place. So um, I'm in an auto, 150 rupees to Honey Beach, but you can barter down. I barter down a little bit. Nice price. So yeah, five kilometers or so from here. I can't wait to see the secret beach. So why this place is called Penny Beach. So here, where we can see the sand, sort of near the rocks. Um, it's difficult to see under the water. But basically, when the sand and water meet, it's the colour of honey. But maybe these rocks here, I think, I can see the colour of honey between the sand in the rocks. Oh, wow. This place also has the name Red Earth because as you may have seen in the photography there's red rocks so perhaps it's for that reason comment below if it's not or you think something different sorry the tide is right in and I'm on the rocks so where the tide is in it's an adventure just looking out still for um, sand in between the rocks So there is a hotel here at Honey Beach, a resort, so that's lovely because it just means we can top up our water bottles and use toilets, they've got good toilet facilities, so yes there are facilities for you if you come here. So as you can see off the beaten track, off the beaten path, off the beaten road, it's beautiful and I love the little stories like it's called Honey Beach because 
of the colour of the sand when it meets the water and the red earth because of the red rocks. It's a far cry from Cuddly Beach. As a lot of you know, I like the craziness, but if I'm honest, at times I just feel as if I'm wasting my time there because if there's a lot of trance music and beer drinking going on, I don't engage in either. Because if I am truly honest in my heart, to me, yeah, it's a waste of time. Whereas coming somewhere like this, you see the beauty of the earth. I would much rather remember Gokana and see places like Honey Beach and the beautiful scenery and experience that inner peace and the shanty vibe. It's just absolutely gorgeous. They've also got a tribal village here as well, so it's a nice place to go and have a look. So again, I'm delighted that when I do leave Gokana, at least I've seen places like Honey Beach. That's how it feels to me. It's not like I'm coming here because I just want some vacation that's got no culture whatsoever. I'm coming here and I'm discovering culture. I'm discovering the real beauty, the real beauty and the real culture. And you can too. I found the sandy beach where the water and the sea meet and it's the colour of honey. And there's my companion. He's followed me down to the beach. I was the only person here. So I think he kept me company. Ah, Honey Beach! Amazing! Beautiful! This side's gorgeous! So I just paid him a little bit extra and he was happy. Thank you for my day. See you on my channel. So yeah, I just didn't want to say in front of him, the auto guy. It was 260 return that he charged me. Sorry, 270. He charged me an extra 10 rupees for being a bit late. But I'm not bothered about that at all. So, uh, yeah, he's taken me back to the port area now. He said the boat's going to be in 10 minutes. Like I said, this is a very smooth sailing trip. And as you can see from Honey Beach, I have just had too much fun. So I'm back on the side of the water now where I get the bus back to Gokana bus station. Isn't Ganga Billy, isn't it beautiful? It's not something people talk about all the time, you know, when coming to Gokana, but I would highly recommend it. And this trip out reminded me of my trip to Nirvana Beach, which is also another hidden beach and a secret route to get there. And I will link that vlog above. 
So yeah, maybe I can get a chai. I'm just kind of hanging out with the locals. And um, whilst I'm trying to order a chai, I will give you a little tour around of this area. Just where the little shacks are. It's just cute. You know, very local, right? Like. Goodly Beach, I live on Goodly Beach in Gokana, yes. Ah, oh, which hotel? He's asking me what hotel. Oh. beautiful sight, no commercialism, local people, those gorgeous little butts. So just to let you know there isn't a toilet um, during the one hour wait and also if you'd rather rock to get an auto instead of the bus you can but of course you'll have to pay extra money. I today would say spent uh, approximately 400 rupees so that's covered things like snacks, cups of tea, um, a bit of dosa, um, what else has it covered? Buses, boats, but the main chunk, what really inflated the cost is of course the auto. But uh, it's certainly worth the day out, lovelies. It's gorgeous. Get off that beaten track and just go and explore. Oh, so, so tired. I think when you go to such a serene place, the energy is so positive and so happy that you just end up so, so tired, but in a good way. It's lovely. The um, sand and the water coming together in the colour of honey and the red rock, making it like... Um, is it red ocean? Red, red earth, that was it, red earth. And uh, honey beach. Oh, delightful. So when I was saying earlier about like, you know, the real go um, ironically enough, where I am on Cuddly Beach, um, all my followers will know that I am in a homestay. So for me, my experience in go is very real because I live with an Indian family. You can't get more real than that, can you? <laughs> um, so little Jessery, you'll know the little girl. She goes to school. Uh, she's learning the Canada alphabet, which is the local language. I'm learning it along with her. Uh, numbers, I'm a little bit slow on learning the Canada numbers. And things like the food, poverty's cooking. Again, my dedicated followers will know what her cooking is like. It's just uh, amazing. So yes, I'm actually getting the real experience. The current issue is, in terms of such homestays, I would say on Cuddly Beach, that's lying at the moment at 2%. In terms of the yogi vibe, which is what I really, really like and want and need, because um, I am an online yoga teacher, and I also edit my vlogs, I do need a quiet yogic space to work. Um, but I would say at the moment, Cuddly Beach, yoga is operating at about 1%. So homestays are operating, uh, yoga is operating, but the vast majority, I hate to say it, it's tourism trash, but maybe that's just my opinion. And I've actually met a lot of tourists who like that sort of thing, who tell me themselves it's tourism trash, they only get two days off work and they come for that. Um, so to me, there's some, I mean, I've really tolerated the lacking of the cultural element simply because I am able to access that through the homestays, uh, through the yoga that I do and teach online. But maybe I'm starting to outgrow um, such beach resorts. It's not a bad thing at all. Because look, I can just sort of like go off and go to all the beautiful, beautiful secret places. So anyway, I'm kind of like back in the dosa shop in Gokana town with a cup of tea. 
again, like this morning, I just can't drink it yet. <laughs> I have to wait. Okay, so I think I'll end the vlog here. Um, do the 45 minute walk after I've had a little bit of caffeine. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, get home, tired. But like I said, it's a good tired and I really want to wait till it's a bit cooler before the walk. Okay, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Penny Beach and um, the Red Rocks as much as me. It was amazing. Shanti, shanti, shanti. Om Namo Shabaya. Thank you for watching and kisses. Mwah. You know the drill. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, I always invite you to be part of the gang and subscribe to the channel. So take care and bye for now.